Hey everybody, Matt here with Halloween Daily News, and today we are taking a deeper dive into that new Pretty Woman Leatherface animatronic that'll be available from Spirit Halloween this year. We've been talking quite a bit in recent weeks about the fact that we are getting three new different Leatherface animatronics all released in 2023, available exclusively from three different retailers and um, made by different product manufacturers. And so obviously a very exciting year if you're a Leatherface fan, a Texas Chainsaw Massacre fan, which of course we are, but it's also um, a fascinating, almost kind of anomaly that we're seeing with these triple simultaneous releases this year um, within the animatronics industry itself. So um, this week, Spirit, of course, officially unveiled their animatronics lineup, many of which are up for order right now online at spirithalloween.com. We've got links in the description to those, and we've done a previous video report covering most of those. This one, however, is not quite for sale yet online, not quite available yet online. Spirit Halloween tells me that uh, there is going to be a second drop featuring all of the animatronics that have not yet been put up for availability online. And among those will be this. So as we've previously reported, we've seen some official demo video of the uh, Lowe's Leatherface in which he's wearing the killing mask, the apron. That one is produced by Jimmy. Here's a little bit of him in action. And we've even seen just a brief snippet of footage of the techie produced Party City killing mask apron version of Leatherface in a recent promo video. <laughs> that one is not available to order online yet. The Lowe's version is, however, and I've tagged the product here in this video, as well as included a link for that one in the description as well. So with this week's spirit unveiling of the 2023 lineup, we got our first official photos of this new animatronic and all of the others, as well as some official demo video of him in action. So here it is. He stands at six feet tall. He is infrared sensor activated, and his motion is a uh, what Spirit's website describes as a 360 degree waist motion, and uh, and his sounds include the chainsaw revving up and Leatherface grunting. So a few things um, that I took note of of this Leatherface. I mean, I love the look. I love the idea that they went with the finale of the film look of Leatherface when he's wearing his pretty woman mask, kind of dressed up for the occasion, if you will, um, wearing his suit and tie, the same tie on all versions, which is some nice uh, synchronicity there. But of all the Leatherface collectibles out there, of course, most of them, he's wearing the apron. So I do definitely appreciate that they went with a different look, especially because they probably were aware that there was going to be some competition wearing the classic killing mask and uh, apron look. So this one gets a few extra points for me, uh, just for that decision to be a little bit different. And then maybe most notably, uh, the biggest difference in this one and the Lowe's, and I believe the Party City as well, this appears to be the only one with an actual moving blade on that chainsaw. I know a lot of you have uh, commented on our recent videos and posts 
about the fact that uh, you were disappointed that the Lowe's didn't feature a uh, moving chainsaw, and it doesn't appear that uh, the Party City version will either, but uh, this version, it looks like they got it right, which is really cool, and I definitely give it a few extra points for that as well. This six-foot Leatherface, officially licensed from Toby Hooper's 1974 horror classic, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, will be available exclusively from Spirit Halloween in 2023, part of their 40th anniversary celebration of the launch of Spirit Halloween. He will be retailing for $350. I have included the link where he will be available in a few weeks in the description of this video. Keep an eye out for that. And uh, let me hear your thoughts on the Pretty Woman Leatherface. As opposed to the other two Leatherfaces, which one is your favorite at this point? Um, I'd still love to see all three of them in person and hope to uh, later this year. Like I said, this one earns a few points just for being um, right out of the box, just by being different, a different mask, different outfit, and of course that rotating blade on the chainsaw, very nice touch. Uh, the movement, oddly, very similar to that of the Lowe's version. So um, they both kind of have that same waist motion, kind of slow back and forth, kind of interesting choice there. Um, how they're similar, and it does appear that the Party City, he, his arms move up and down, uh, holding that chainsaw up above his head and then back down. But I'd love to hear your thoughts on the Pretty Woman Leatherface, the other two Leatherfaces, and all of Spirit's lineup for 2023 that we've been covering here. Give us your thoughts down in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe. You're not going to want to miss what we've got coming up very soon. Um, we've been talking a lot about Spirit. We have also been talking a lot about Lowe's. I know some of you are wondering, are we going to be covering the Home Depot animatronics? Of course we will. We're going to have a lot of that coverage coming in the next few weeks, I promise. But before we get to that, we've got an exclusive report coming up on when you will be able to find the very first 2023 animatronics in stores at Lowe's locations. We've got a date for you, and here's a hint, it's a lot closer than you think. So be sure to subscribe, hit your notifications, so you're the first to hear about it in our upcoming report. Until then, I'm Matt Arts. For Halloween Daily News, thank you for watching.